All right. Well, uh, okay. Night, night, night. It's our last night in Sydney. Let's 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 take this relationship to a deeper place than we have. <laughs> For, first, with sincerity, I'm not going to say, "Well, it's nice weather." It's, uh, me, your your uh, opera house is shaped funny, like a porcupine. Uh, <laughs> we're beyond that. We're now to the surface. I want to say uh, kudos to you. It seems like my girlfriend pointed out, and I was like, "Yeah, you're right." I think I did notice that too. There's not a lot of, there's a very, very gentlemanly uh, sidewalk culture here. Gentlemen do not, are, are not guaranteed to fucking leer and, uh, and catcall and hoozle whistle. Do you, did you not notice that? Are you, are you guys not proud of that? Oh, oh well, you're, wait, you're, wait, wait, I'm not sure what you're talking about. You're saying that they're, 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 they're gentlemanly towards women walking down the street? Yeah, yeah they well, don't they're, scream at women. There's not as much rubbernecking and, like, kind of intimidation and stuff, like, stranger to stranger. Well, all, all the women disagree with you. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, what do they know? Well, that's crazy, yeah. Should I never got called once. <laughs> Those seats could have been filled with juicy cocks. <laughs> this is a man's show. I, I, want, I want juicy nuts and hard cocks in those seats. <laughs> That's the Harmontown guarantee. <laughs> I, I was walking down the road by myself in Brisbane. I was, went over to the West End, and there was a guy that was honking his horn, and he yelled out to, I'm, I'm assuming a woman. I mean, it could have, could have been anybody. I, I, he's like, you got a fat ass! Oh, okay. I guess I was wrong. All right. Yeah, I don't know what. Yeah, what would I think? What would be the best case scenario that you guys would all pull, applaud yourselves? You're right. We do have no sexual harassment in our city. <laughs> You would be the worst city in the world if you did that. Even if it was true, you'd be shitty you know, people. I, I, here's how polite things are. I, did, I took a little uh, wander today, and I ended up with kind of no direction. My phone, like, data wasn't working. So I said, I'll just, I'm just going to walk. Like, I, I, I can still see where the downtown is. I know my way back. And I ended up in King's Cross, and there was a bunch of bikers over there <laughs> and, hanging out in front of... Whorehouses? So like, like strip, like in strip clubs, right? 10 a.m., everybody's in casinos and strip clubs, and there's a million, like, Hells Angels-looking bikers, and they were the nicest people. Yeah. I, I guess the first way I received that is I feel like you're, I feel like you're beating me at some kind of traveling contest. <laughs> I, 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 I had waffles. Yeah. I don't, I... Well, Jeff is way better at traveling than you. Well, I, 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 I never wanted to find that out. You know, that's not why I invited him. <laughs> invited me? Yeah, that's right, right, yeah. That's right, oh, sir. Sure. That's, oh, and now it all comes out. <laughs> you, yeah, that's right, I invited you. Yes, I saw your Evite, and I said yes. <laughs> <laughs>